everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we are together again working on page seven, Midnight Tales, page seven. So there's two flaps. There is a smaller and a larger flap, and the smaller flap is four and a half by eight. You're gonna score a half inch on the four and a half inch side. The larger flap is, let me double check, five and a half by eight. You're gonna score a half inch on the five and a half inch side. And I forgot to put tape on it. Let's do that real quick. There we go. <clears throat> and I believe I'm doing it, let's see, this is page seven. So yeah, so I want the larger flap on the left-hand side. I had to think about where the spine was. Um, so I want the larger flap on the right-hand side and it's just gonna go flush to the edge of the pocket page. If I can get the backing off, <laughs> my goodness. Okay. All right, it's gonna go like so. Tape. Then the smaller flap is going to go on the left hand side. Like so. I'm going to put a line here and then we're going to add our magnets, which has to be between the edge of the flap and the line. There we go. I had already. I guess not. I guess not. More tape. There we go. Burnish that into place. Okay, so here we have um, the two patterns that we're going to use. Did I do that right? I actually did that wrong. I actually want the larger flap underneath. Um, the magnets still work, so I'm not going to move them. But normally this magnet, actually I am going to move them. Otherwise, we're going to have a layer of paper here and a layer of paper here. So I will move them. Sorry about that, guys. This magnet should be on the top. Dum-dum. It happens. I'm surprised it's coming off so easy because I did burnish it, but... It all gets covered with uh, designer paper either way. <clears throat> so the line should go here. <laughs> there we go. Let's do that again. Shall we? Oh, I already put my tape up. Be a little too close to the edge. That's pretty darn close. I'm gonna have to scoot that. Scoot it. Too close to the edge. So I'm gonna move my magnet up a bit. That'll work.
That should do it. Yeah. Okay. There we go. All right. Um, sometimes it's hard to tell because the tape is wider than the magnet. So there we go. Okay. Now we're ready to go ahead and put down our designer paper on this side. It is from the 12 by 12 collection pack. to really think about this pattern because the flower and it's a good thing I was talking and thinking is, is upside down it it actually grows like that so I almost put it in upside down it's an easy thing to do speaking of yeah let's make sure everything is right side up okay there we go now, I need a minute to get my other papers trimmed and inked. I'll be right back and we will finish uh, the rest of page seven. Okay, I've picked out my papers. I'm gonna do some color blocking on the centerpiece. I didn't have a piece big enough of this pattern, so I am going to color block with the two scraps that I had left. I'm gonna put an orange strip right in between and then I'm gonna use the purples on the outside. Um, and they fit just, uh, I think they fit. Yeah, I think I actually trimmed it out to go here. And this is in. So let me stop for a second. This is from the 12 by 12 and this is from the eight by eight. I'm gonna see if I can't match that pattern. I didn't have, um, yes I do. So I have another option. I do have more of this paper. I don't have more of the 12 by 12. I can do, I like this better. I'm gonna use the, um, this is from the uh, Patterns and Solids. I'm gonna use the uh, spider web. I don't know what's wrong with my brain, but I'm having a hard time finding my words. So I'm gonna lay down the two outside edges, lay down both of these patterns, and then trim this to fit. That is the plan. I'm gonna do some quick dry fitting. Yeah, it looks good.
done with this page, I got some serious housekeeping to do. <laughs> my desktop is looking like a mess. And I need to go turn off my dishwasher. It's, it's, tell, it's yelling at me. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to dry fit this real quick, make sure it's the right height. It looks good, so we just need to add some ink. These happen to be scraps that I had, so there's no magic to the measurements. I'll tell you what it is, but um, you should go look and see if you've got, and I'm guessing this is four inches, yeah. Uh, this is just, just under four inches. Um, so it happened to be something I trimmed off the 12 by 12 and had left over. Okay, and then this piece is two and three eighths. But again, there's nothing magic. If you have a solid piece, you can use that here too. If you don't want to do color blocking. Now we're gonna lay this in and trim it to fit. See how we did. I need to take a little more off. So I want to have a nice black strip going on both sides. It's pretty close. I need to take about a sixteenth of an inch off. Not much. good at eyeballing a sixteenth and an eighth inch, eighth inch uh, overall. I can I can just judge it now. I don't even have to measure it. Okay, this is going to wrap it up for page seven. What do you guys think? I love it. I think it's very pretty. Okay, I'll be back soon, guys.